social media is broken. All of the content we see and data we share online is owned and controlled by a handful of billionaires. These billionaires and mega corporations have all of the power while the users get the short end of the stick. But luckily there is a solution to this growing problem. In this video, we're gonna discuss the current issues with social media, how Web3 changes the way we use social media, and how Deso was built from the ground up to solve all of these issues. Plus how you can get started using decentralized social media today thanks to the hundreds of applications that are already running on the Deso blockchain. So make sure to stick around until the end of the video for that. So social media has some absolutely amazing aspects. It allows us to connect with old friends, easily develop new relationships, and reach a far greater audience than was ever possible before. But it also has three significant issues. First is centralization. Imagine a world where the only restaurants were McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's. Imagine these corporations had full control over the food supply. And as a result, they solely decide what we'll all eat on a daily basis. As a self-proclaimed foodie, that is a world I do not want to live in. But that is exactly how the Web2 social media space is currently structured. There are really only three to five players in the social media space that control essentially everything that we see and consume online. This leads to just a handful of people that control the communication infrastructure for the entire internet. The second issue is the ad-driven business model. The current Web2 social media companies such as Twitter utilize a ad-driven business model which consists of the following. First, users generate content on Twitter, then those users browse that content on Twitter's app. Twitter is then able to generate revenue by showing advertisements to those users that are browsing the contents on the Twitter app. And Twitter doesn't let anyone else run an app or a feed that utilizes its own content because they are not able to monetize a platform that they can't control. This means that Twitter must maintain exclusive access to its own content in order for its business model to work. These social media giants must monopolize and centralize their content and their app experience in order to make money. And this just results in a watered down experience for the users. The third and final issue is a lack of ownership. On Web2 social media platforms, you have no ownership. Anytime you create a tweet, add a new friend on Facebook, or post a comment on a YouTube video, all of that data belongs solely to the corporations. You are not able to port your content from one platform to another, and if you are ever suspended or banned, then your profile and content is gone for good. Facebook, Twitter, and Google own your social graph. To learn more about how Web3 gives you back ownership of your social graph, make sure to check out this video right here. Luckily, Web3 offers a solution to every single issue we just discussed. Decentralized social media allows you to own your social graph, offers an alternative to the ads driven business model and gives the power back to the users rather than the platforms themselves. But if decentralized social media wants to scale and onboard billions of users in the same way that Web2 social media has, blockchains need to be built specifically for this reason. And most of the general purpose blockchains used today are built specifically to power financial applications. And they are very good at it. But social media applications are storage heavy. A social media app needs to allow follows, likes, text posts, pictures, and videos to be uploaded in order for it to be successful. And the most popular blockchains in Web3 simply cannot support that. We can see here that in order to store just one gigabyte of on-chain data to blockchains such as Cardano, Avalanche, Solana, and Ethereum, it costs literally hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. If you wanna learn about why these costs are so outrageous, I talk about it in more detail in this video right here. This is simply unsustainable and Web3 social media cannot be built on these blockchains. And this is where Deso comes into play. Deso is the first layer one blockchain custom built to decentralize and scale social applications to billions of users. With Deso, you truly own your social graph. Every piece of data that is posted on the Deso network is stored on chain and owned by its users. It is also incredibly easy to port your social graph, content, NFT, and coins between different applications built on top of Deso. There are over a hundred apps available on Deso. These range from social media and NFT projects all the way to commerce and music. You can find the full list of applications on desolist.cc, which I will link down in the description below. As a creator, Deso is the best place to build an audience. In Web2, creators are forced to build an audience on every platform separately because it's impossible to port your Twitter following 
over to Facebook and Instagram and vice versa. With Deso, you just have to build an audience once. Because your audience is portable, you are able to better scale and monetize your following. If you're interested in creating on Deso, there are a number of ways to do so. You can post to earn on Diamond, allow your audience to buy your social token, start a DAO to fund your content creation or your next big idea on DowDow, or you can launch an NFT project on NFTs or supernovas. The possibilities are endless with new Deso applications being built on a regular basis. And building on Deso is easier than ever. You can create a new application and have it up and running on the Deso blockchain in a matter of days. You can build the Web3 version of Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, or even an entirely new experience that only blockchain technology can enable. You can also launch a DAO to fund your next application or help raise awareness. The reality is you can build any Web2 project but with money native features designed for Web3 with the help of Deso. To learn more about how you can start building on Deso with just a few lines of codes, I really suggest checking out this video right here from our founder, Nader Al Naji. And you can also check out the Deso Developer Hub, which I will leave a link for down below. If you want to get started, with Deso today, I suggest heading over to Deso.org to check out everything that Deso currently has to offer. Every person that joins the Deso network gets a Deso identity. Similar to MetaMask on Ethereum, your Deso identity allows you to log into any app running within the Deso ecosystem. And you can bring your profile, followers, content, and funds along with you. My favorite application on Deso is Diamond, a Web3 Twitter competitor where you can earn money simply by posting. I'll leave a link for that down below as well. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to come join the decentralized social media movement today.